It is indeed a great day to be in Macon Bibb County. As I look around this area today, I know all of you have special relationships with the Macon Mall. Now I hear this myth, this story about Macon is a tale of two cities. I can tell you today that ends. Macon is worth fighting for, and I will be the first to stand up and fight. We gave the uh, property here to the city. We did it because it's really the right thing to do for this property. To take a mall like this mall, this historic Macon mall, and to uh, make it into a, a, a great place. Excuse me, I'm gonna be a little bit emotional. Um, like Al said, this has been a long time coming and I couldn't be more excited for the Business Improvement District, our businesses, I couldn't be more excited for our community. This is gonna be such a wonderful opportunity. The biggest thing today is I can say we're back. This is a beautiful mall, this is a beautiful place. This is historic. First, let me, let me say this to you. Without the vision, the people will perish. But there's a part two that we often forget. Vision must meet action. And then we must turn those actions into intentional work to improve the lives of others. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see in front of you is a revitalization of the Eisenhower Corridor. Where you're seated today, in less than 18 months, you'll be watching a band perform, about the 10,000 people in the amphitheater. You look just outside of where you're seated at today, you're gonna see some sky boxes. You'll see about 7,000 long chairs. You'll see about 2,000 covered seatings that'll be permanent. You'll see a dance floor that people can stand up there in a pit, or you can have 40 tables at 10 people a table to have an event that you want to. And you'll see a one of a kind stage right there. You'll see a restaurant right behind here where people can enjoy the music and also have, have a time for fellowship. We understand that there are challenges for indoor malls all across the United States for, for retail, but we still have to maintain that footprint. So what you're going to see in the very near future our government offices in part of this mall. You're going to see expanded retail in this mall. You're going to see more restaurants in this mall. You can potentially see some film in this mall. You may be at the site now of the largest pickleball indoor facility that we have in this mall. I too uh, grew up in this area, uh, going to Union School. Uh, going to Morgan. Uh, when I came out of the military, uh, I, I came here to work at Sears for five years. I know distinctly the day, June the 7th, 1986. I was a student at Southwest High School from this area. I was fortunate to take the SAT that day. And guess where we went right after that exam was over? To the making mall. And while I was walking through that mall, I just looked at the most beautiful girl in the world. I'm 17 years old, 1986. I'm walking with this young lady who later became my girlfriend and who I've had the privilege of being married to for the last 32 years. Who had spent many a day walking around this mall eating Baskin Robbins, getting her glamour shots pictures made, <laughs> eating at the food court, getting mad when Chick-fil-A left. I say all this to say that today is a very historical day for Macon Bibb County. And here we are in Macon Bibb where I grew up. I worked in that Macy's. I went in that video game store. I bought Human Nature as a single in the record store on the first floor. Michael had on that little shirt and that, that, that sweater vest. I was there. This is my mall too. And I'm so proud to see us on this day reinvest not just in a parkway, not just in a side of town, but we're reinvesting in our people.